Hello guys and welcome to another Dr. Hades video. I'm sorry that I don't have a webcam right now, but I had an accident, so we're gonna have to film without it. Today we're gonna talk about the best compositions that you should play in patch 10.21 in order to get higher ELO. So the first composition that you should play is 6 Divine. Divine Champions remove all call control and ascend, taking 50% reduced damage and dealing 50% bonus through damage for the duration of 10 seconds. So they are really powerful and of course if you play Adapt, Adapts calm the flow of battle, reducing the attack speed of all enemies by 50% for a few seconds at the start of the combat, which will be 4 or 7, depending on how many adapts you will put. And this team will carry you very, very hard. The thing is, it's really hard to hit this team without a chosen divine. It's not impossible because there are 6 divines available, but it's a lot harder and your team has the burst damage when you hit 6 divine. So it's very important. Once you get the chosen divine, you should play this team using Shen, Lee Sin, Jax, Warwick, Irelia, Eo, Lux, Janna, getting 6 divine, 3 adapt, 1 exile, 2 dualist, 2 enlightened, 2 mystic and 1 ninja. Of course, once you play against only or maybe most of your enemies are playing Divine 2, in order for getting a better team, Janna is not so useful as you saw like Divine do true damage, so Divine would not be blocked by magic resist, then Janna should be taken out and a Dazzler should go in, because Dazzler will spare reduce the attack damage of enemies hit by 50% for a few seconds, so once you hit their team, especially Warwick, their Warwick, they will uh, have reduced damage and Warwick might die because of it. Of course, the adapt is very important in this composition because you slow down the start of the enemy team and probably if they play divine they will do that to you too and this is why it's better the best item for Warwick is Quicksilver because he has to attack non-stop. So the second item on Warwick should be a static shift. It's very important to have at least one static shift and We'll see about the next item, but the best is to have two static shield. Of course, another item that should be good in uh, this composition can be Rage Blade. It's pretty viable, not the best situation. Don't play Rapid Fire Cannon, it's not good. The rapid Fire Cannon on Warwick is really not good. Moving on to the items on Jax, he should have a list one locket and at least one zero if not two because Warwick will use a lot of this uh, attack speed and of course the shield in order for him to cast he has to go full mana and after that he will get the attack speed and lifesteal and what Warwick does after all so you need to help him a lot in the beginning. Good items on Lee Sin is Shoujin it's a uh, rapid fire cannon guardian angel and on yon it's really good to have morello if you have still items of course spirit of shojin is pretty good on lux but the core items that you should focus on is static shift and quicksilver for warwick and of, top, of course the items for Jax, which are zeke's and the locket yeah these are the most important do not forget shana should go out if the enemy team doesn't have uh, magic damage and you should put a Dazzler in. Moving on, on the second best comp that you should play in patch 10.21 is Chosen Sharpshooter. After all Sharpshooters are really powerful right now, having a scary Jinx, Jin and Riven, but mainly Jin and Jinx, because Jin will do the damage, Jinx will do the crowd control, and of course you have different other champions that will do damage and crowd control but these are your carriers so in this composition of course sharpshooters in order to remind you attacks and spells ricochet to nearby enemies tier link reduced damage free ricochets with 35 percent reduced damage for keepers 
At the start of combat, keepers granted themselves and all nearby allies a shield for 8 seconds. This shield is 50% stronger on keepers, so your team will have a better frontline. Of course, Dusk will get you 20% spell power, Ninja and Warlord are just uh, not so necessary and this is why I'm not gonna tell you extremely how they do. Okay, so your team is composed out of Chavan, Riven, Nidalee, Azir, Cannon, Jin, Jinx, Timo and Vayne. Of course, one of the sharpshooters needs to be uh, chosen, especially the best chosen should be Jin and Jinx. These are the best situation, but any sharpshooter is good in order to hit the 6 sharpshooter trait. On the keeper, I don't recommend to get a chosen keeper, late game at least, early game it can be, but after that you should search for a 6 sharpshooter because this composition is not good um, without the 6 sharpshooters, so in this composition you have 6 sharpshooters, 4 keepers, 2 dusk, 1 ninja and 3 warlords. For itemization, as I said, your core build is around Jinx and Jin, so Jin should have Guardian Angel. Giant Slayer and Last Whip Spur, or he can have uh, Infinity Edge is also good on him. Any any sword build items are okay. Jinx should go with Quicksilver, Blue, and Spear of Shojin. This is really good because she will do a lot of stun, thinking that sharpshooters will ricochet in three other champions. So he will stun four champions with one hit and she will cast very often, like probably once uh, every two auto attacks or three auto attacks she will cast once her ultimate. So practically she will stun the enemy team and Jin will kill the enemy team, while this keeper keeps them away from Jinx and Jin. This composition is very good but unfortunately once they build the um, shroud is very easier it's easier to contest it okay you have to keep away from shoujin no shoujin sorry uh shroud the last team that you should play in patch 10.21 is six assassin four ninja is not very contested but it's pretty amazing it can get you top four pretty easily especially that this patch is a divine patch and they it's important to play this comp when you're not contested because if you're contested you're not gonna get like free star akali or free star anything because it will be easier being uh, a lot harder because you're contested so in this team you need six assassins which uh, get a chance and their spells can critically strike 90 percent critical strike damage and 40 percent critical strike chance while ninja will give uh, 150 ad and 150 percent spell power practically akali being your main main carrier because she is an assassin and a ninja so she will get both of the uh both how it's called the uh, traits and she will be really powerful of course if you give her the perfect items but i don't think uh, infinity edge heater is the best item i think it's a uh, hack stack let me change really fast okay let me move back okay so your main carrier is akali here because she she is six assassins for ninja so she's an assassin and a ninja and she will get uh, the bonuses from the both for, uh, traits but you need perfect itemization on her which is blue rapid fire cannon and hextech hextech is very important because she needs to get life back because if not really i saw her being uh, really destroyed she will do more damage with infinity edge but she it's a lot easier to kill. Of course, your second carrier should be Talon with Bloodthirster, Giant Slayer, and Infinity Edge. After all, any uh, blade related or sword related item is good on Talon. The others, I don't know if he, they really need itemization, but Shen could be like a, a carrier for um, items that are tanky so you should give him the tanky items and of course this positioning should be changed uh, directly proportional to how the enemy team should position in this composition in my opinion is very important to scout a lot in order to see where is the majority team um, focused with their team so it's a little bit harder to hit 
but you need Shen, Cannon, Talon, Akali, Diana, Katarina, Zed, Pike, and of course you should freestar Akali here because if not, I think it's not gonna be like really good team. And if you play Divine, you should focus uh, like positioning on the same side with their Warwick because uh, Akali needs to attack Warwick probably if you're lucky before he hits his spell if he doesn't hit his spell you can um, instantly kill their warwick okay guys thank you very much for watching excuse myself that i don't have my webcam on but unfortunately i have the really bad accident i hit my head and i'm really uh, all the uh, patched up and i don't want you guys to see me like this but either way, if you enjoyed the video, smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, and play some more TFT. GG. Bye bye.